Hey there, sports fans. Welcome to Got Next Gaming here on YouTube and a new episode of MLB The Show 16, Road to the Show with Alfred Ruscio, our rookie shortstop with the Cincinnati Reds. As we are getting ready here, Al has been swinging a pretty good bat so far in his limited opportunities out there as he didn't play the first month of the season, but has been made the starter going through now. So a little later on, we are now the starter here for the Cincinnati Reds at shortstop, replacing their um, previous shortstop, Zach Cozart. We have a game coming up here. We can see Al batting in the third spot. He's up to an 80 overall right now, so he's uh, doing quite well, quite well for sure. We're very happy with that. We did sim a few games, and we're going to continue to sim games here and there in between to kind of help speed it along a little bit because it can get a little monotonous. It is 162 games after all, and we're going to try to play some of the important ones. We see Al stepping in there with a 333 average and 14 home runs, which leads the Reds. Not too bad for a guy who didn't play the first month of the season. His first at-bat here with an 0-1 count will be lifted into right field, and it's aligned right at the right fielder who had to make maybe two steps, and he makes the catch, and Al is sent down. So we will get a fielding opportunity here in the top of the second. And the batter will hit the ball, and uh, Al's got to make a diving catch here. That's what that little uh, circle means, that icon. You can see here it goes into kind of like showtime or slow motion. And he makes the grab, picks it up, sets his feet, and he takes a little bit long to throw. So he can't throw him out, but he does make the diving catch and probably stops it from being like a double or extra base hits at least. Next one here in the field again. He gets this one, and he flips it over to uh, – he's going to throw it over to first base, and – make the play and get the out there and that will end the inning as that's two fielding opportunities and uh, two good chances there did pretty good on that second one so he's going to step in here with a two nothing deficit in the top of the third i mean the bottom of the third i'm sorry with two on and one out let's see if he could do something here in a clutch situation to help his team out and he will go on the first pitch here he lifts this one to left field left center field it is deep high far off the scoreboard there on the second the second tier there on the upper deck and it's a home run folks it's out of here no doubt home run prince albert has been let out of the can and that's home run number 15 on the season for our rookie shortstop not bad at all exactly what we were building him to be a power hitter and he drives in all three runs and that will take the lead it'll be three to two now and we will catch the replay as he got that high fastballs up around the numbers there and he just got all of it. And see you later. Right off that scoreboard. Right off the ERA 4.82. Right in the middle. I think he hit the dot there in between the, the decimal point there. But whatever. See the mascot dancing around. He'll get an opportunity here in the bottom of the fifth with one on and nobody out. 1-0 count. Deals and he hits this one on the ground to third base. Third baseman throws it over to first. Fires it over to first actually. And gets him on that one. So he'll be sent down in his third at bat. Uh, only one hit so far on the day here is his opportunity in the bottom of the seventh. And he lifts this one into right center field in the gap. It gets to the wall. He rounds first, and he will easily get into second base with a stand-up double in his fourth at-bat. So that will make him two for four for the game so far here. And uh, not a bad game. Got that home run earlier. And uh, now a double here. So gets on base, and uh, try hopefully they can get themselves some uh, insurance runs with that hit there and with him being on in scoring position nothing doing with that though and we'll get a feeling opportunity here where they're playing the shift here in the top of the ninth and it's five to four in favor of the royals uh, first time i've ever played the shift it's hit right at him he picks it up sets his feet and uh gets the target and makes the throw over to first it's a little low but they do get the out and that does it for the top of the ninth inning there going into the ninth now the bottom of the ninth with a one run deficit royals are in the lead here and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can do anything here to help our team out and possibly get a rally going here with one out. It'll be a one-two count against them. Pitcher will deal. And he swings and misses at the high fastball, which is inside. Little chin music strikes him out. And that's going to do it there, folks. And Alice sent down on a strikeout in his last at-bat. In fact, the Reds lose this one 5-4. to four. Not a terrible game for Al, but it was a loss nonetheless. Two for five. He had that home run with three RBIs. Uh, nice one there, at least, in the uh, stats column, but not good for the team in not getting the win. But we're going to be a little selfish, and we're going to be happy with our stats there. 
So let's uh, see what uh, is in store for Alfred here in the future. I think we're going to sim a few games here. And it's going to be a couple games simmed here against the Mets. But we're definitely going to play one of the Met games here at the end of the series uh, against Matt Harvey and going into City Field, which is uh, from my hometown. I'm originally from New York, and uh, I've been to City Field many times, as well as Yankee Stadium. And uh, this is going to be pretty cool stuff for Alfred Russo getting to play here in the hometown at City Field in Queens, New York, playing against the New York Mets. You can see they're um, one better in the win column than us with the record so far, but hopefully we can go ahead and take this one from them. It'll be a tough contest, contest going against Matt Harvey. You see Russo stepping in there with a 336 and 16 home runs. Must have picked up a home run in one of those uh, simmed games there. But in this at-bat, he's going to be struck out on that slider, tailing away, and Harvey owned him on that one. Next time here, he's going to get a fielding opportunity. He'll flip it over to second and get the lead runner there and get the fielding opportunity set and squared away. And that'll do it for the third innings. And he went the short way to get the out there. one nothing Cincinnati so far here in the fourth. Next at bat, he gets the hit right back up the middle into center field. And it'll be a base hit for Alfred Russo. Good solid contact there. Gets it right back up the middle. And finally breaks through against Harvey, which we were a little nervous about coming in. But Mets have the lead here in the sixth. Three to one with one out. And now stepping in here. Let's see what he can do to get a little rally going for his team, hopefully. Takes this one and he lines it into right center field. It won't get to the wall. Center field does run over and make the play, holding him to a single only, but we'll take that. At least we're on base and see if he can do anything with it on that. They does make it around. The bases are loaded here in the sixth. It's an 0-2 count with two outs. Can he come home? Can the batter get him home here? And this one is lifted in the air to right field. There's a little bloop, and it does drop in for a hit. Al will score. And the next runner will score as well, tying up the score there for him. Two runs there on that little bloop single to right field. But here we are in the seventh, and Al with two outs and one on has the opportunity to drive in that run. But nope, they're not even going to take a chance here. They're going to show him a little respect, and they're going to intentionally put him on with that free base there and set up the force out. Why not when you got a guy like this bat, and you definitely don't want to take a chance at having him go at it. But seventh inning, full bait. Bases are loaded again with two outs and a full count. And he's going to walk in the go-ahead run. And you don't see that very often. I had to show that one there. I was on second. He didn't score the run, but he walked in the go-ahead run. But the Mets come back and take a 7-4 lead. And now we're on the ninth. And now gets another hit. It's off the pitcher's glove. And he picks it up and fields it in time to throw him out at first. And that's going to do it there. The Reds do just do drop this one. They get another run there, but they do drop this one 7-5. Allen has a 2-4 for four game. Didn't pick up any run, uh, any uh, RBIs there, but uh, at least maintaining the average there. But we want to see some wins is what we want to see, and this Met team had their way with us in this series. So we're going to go ahead and move forward here. We're getting into the end of the month. Next game going against the Cubs. We have a losing record, but we have some announcements. And as we draw nearer to the first pitch of game one in the series, we'll give you the latest installment of our tops player spotlight. Alfred Russo is in the glow. And EK, yes, he's an emerging talent, but he isn't usually regarded as one of the bright young stars, yet he has been setting the world on fire lately. Yeah, he's been really good, and it's been a little bit of a pleasant surprise for this club and its fans as well. He's a good-looking young player, but most don't consider him to be one of the future stars in this league. At least not yet, but if he keeps playing like this, he'll make a name for himself real quick. But regardless, I'm excited to watch him play in this one. It's always fun to see a guy play that's on a tear like this. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. So there you have it. I mean, I'm not sure how to take that. He's going to step in here finally. You'll see he's batting 412, and like they said, he is on a tear. He was not a top prospect. No, definitely not. He was a fourth-round pick, but he is hitting the snot out of the ball lately, and uh, that's really all we want to see out of him, and we made him to be a power hitter. They weren't expecting much out of him, so it's got to be uh, pretty good for, for them to see that he is hitting as well as he is, and he might not be a star yet, but he could be soon if he keeps hitting the way he does, and there he gets a little bloop. Hit to left field as it dropped in in front of the left fielder. 
Nothing happened with that, though. We're in the fourth now with one on and nobody out and a one nothing deficit here. Let's see if Al can't help his team out in this situation. And this one is ripped right back up the middle, gets through for a base hit, and the runner will have to stop at second. But Al is on with a base hit here in this. That's two hits now, another multi-hit game for our young shortstop. Coming in here a little bit later on in the eighth with a 3-1 lead now and one out. You see that he is two for three so far. Hoping to get a little uh, insurance going here. And he gets this one right back up the middle again. And a nice solid base hit there as he just keeps getting these singles, getting these singles. And keeping that average driving up and maintaining it well over 300 as uh, the season goes along here. Ninth inning with a runner on. He'll get a fielding opportunity. He'll love this one. And fire it over to first as we get that target. And yes, he does get him for the out. And he will pick up. 12 points on training there as he had all the good stuff out there throwing out the tying run and whatnot and everything else so the cubs do win this one five to three and the reds drop another game but al goes three for four with his own personal stats no rbis but does get that R that average going uh further north as he's approaching 350 now he's got 346 uh, and that's looking pretty pretty good we're gonna go ahead and sim a few games here as we usually do uh, to move things forward a little bit and we're getting close to the all-star game we'll see have to see how that plays out but we're going to take a look at the standings as they are we're seven games out behind the cardinals here for the 44 and 22 and only three and a half out of the wild card so we're still in this one folks and they can make a run for it as we get into all-star pretty soon the all-star break pretty soon but i want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this one out please leave your comments below let me know if you like the video i will see you around the channel and goodbye now